Espérense, déjenme ponerme todo lente. Nosotros estamos perdidos en un barco sin destino. Como no habla, los dominicanos tenemos una forma de hablar que solamente los dominicanos entienden. Bienvenidos mis dudes, regresé con otro video. El video de hoy va a ser un chino diferente. Hoy les voy a enseñar unos, unos cuantos refranes que nosotros dominicanos tenemos. Para ustedes se llama Dominican Slang, para nosotros es... Hablando regular, pero eso, 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 eso es el flow de nosotros. Tú me entiendes, tú me entiendes. Si usted es dominicano, dale ese like ahora mismo. Ok, guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. I will be teaching you guys some Dominican slang. You're probably like, girl, what you talk about? I got you. I got all of y'all. So I know that sometimes you go into like a Dominican restaurant or a Dominican hair salon and you're like, dang, what are they talking about? I got you. It will help you kind of understand the context of the conversations that we're having. So, before anything, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and vamos a comenzar. So the first word is, que lo que. You're probably like, what the heck? What's a que lo que? Que lo que is simple. Que lo que is like a, it's like a way of saying hello. Hey, what's going on? Que lo que. Next word is, tranqui. Tranqui is more, it's like a way of saying chilling. I'm relaxed. I'm good. You know, I'm, I'm chilling. So people usually say, que lo que, and then somebody else says, tranqui. Next word is vaina. So vaina is like a way of saying things or like like things that don't even really matter. You can say ay esa vaina. They have esa vaina. Like leave that alone. Like it's like it's not that important. Just things, whatever. Things. They have esa vaina. So I just said leave that stuff alone. Next word is carajito. Mira ese carajito. You see? Look at that little boy. So carajito is a different way of saying little boy or little kid. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Carajo. Carajo is like when somebody's mad and they're like, oh, that's our way of saying, oh my God, my lashes. Okay, wait, we good. Okay. Carajo is a way of saying, oh, I'm mad. Carajo. Say it with me. Carajo. I feel like we're in like Dora the Explorer and we're like saying the word and it's like, see it? Next word is chévere. Chévere is like, that's good. Eso está chévere. Ay, que chévere. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. Yeah, that's cool. Next word is chin. Chin is like a little bit. Namun chin. That's usually what I tell my boyfriend when I when he tells when he asks me if I'm hungry and I say no and then he only orders food for himself and then I go namun chin and then he gets mad. Mm -hmm. Next word is papi chulo. Mm. Papi chulo is like you know like. You look good. Like, you look really good. Like, oh my god. I don't really say that word, by the way. <laughs> Let's be clear. Let's be clear. Next word is cocotazo. You're like, what the heck? Coco? Not coco. That means when somebody gets hit, mira te with un cocotazo. Don't get, don't get cocotazo. Next word is diache. Diache is like, damn. Or, oh my god. Next word is dique. Dique is like, supposedly. Like, supposedly John said he can speak Spanish now. Boy, bye. <laughs> I love you, babe. <laughs> Next word is el pipo. El pipo is like, like, oh, damn. It's like another way of saying diache, but it's more like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Next word is hablador. Hablador is like a gossiper. So, tu si eres un hablador. Like, you're such a, you're such a, a gossiper. But in Spanish, it's like, oh. Dang, she really, or that person really called you out your name. How about, what is that a word you want to be called? You don't want to be a gossiper or somebody who says lies. And not a good look. I'm taking you back to Puerto Plata, to DR, to Santiago, la capital. Oye, que lo que? Nah, manso. Manso is like relaxed, chilled. It's not, the, it's like another way of saying, um, tranqui. <laughs> this word is funny. I'm sure you guys can use this one. Peo. Peo means Fart. Ay, te tiraste un peo. And then people usually go, fo. So, fo. Te tiraste un peo. So, il is fo and peo means fart. Yeah. Next word is te pasaste. That means you crossed the line. Mira, te pasaste. Okay? Don't ever let somebody tell you te pasaste because that means you crossed the line. I don't know what could happen after that. So, I hope that doesn't happen to you. Next word is tato. Tato is another way of saying... Okay, cool. 
Like when your man goes out and he's like, baby, it's okay if I go out. And you're like, ta bien, ta ta. And we're not good. So. <laughs> Next word is matatan. Matatan is like the boss, the big boss, okay? Yo soy la matatan. That means you are it, honey. You are the boss, okay? Nobody can mess with you. Well, the way we say jeeps in Spanish is pretty, it's pretty funny. We say jeepeta. So if you can't, if you didn't understand jeepeta and the word jeep is in it, something's wrong with you. Okay. So a lot of us Dominicans say this word when, you know, you want to act like you down and you know English. So, you know, people go, yo estoy chillaxing. Chillaxing means chilling, but in, in Dominican slang, it's chillaxing. <laughs> I, I can't make this up. My Dominican people, you're watching, you know this is true. We say chillaxing. I mean, I don't say chillaxing, but I definitely hear it being said. But I don't correct them because I get it. You know, when you understand somebody's saying, you just kind of let them, yeah, okay. Next word is humo. Humo is like a bad hangover a bad a bad hangover i tengo un humo loco no se me quita todo lo de cabeza i just said dang i have the worst headache the worst hangover this headache does not go away okay, next word is zapacón zapacón is the trash can so tirame eso en el zapacón yeah and that's with a z zapacón so when somebody is like you know, doing really good and they're just like on top of things, they're ahead of the game, they're ahead of the game, you go, alante, alante, ah, eso está alante, alante. That means you're like, alante, alante, literally if I translate it says in front, in front. You're on, you're ahead of the game. Boom, you're ahead of the game. Alante, alante. Next word is pana. Pana is like, buddy, my homie, my bro, what's good? You know, what's up, bro? Do we say that still? In Spanish, we say, oye, mi pana. Que lo que. Next word is bacano. Bacano is like, yo, that is so fly. That is so dope. I need it. It's like you're you're living for whatever it is that you're talking about or whatever you're seeing. Next word is, well, next phrase is en olla. En olla means broke. No puedo salir because estoy en olla. Like, you you at the bottom of the pan. Like, you, you broke. You can't even get yourself a drink at the bar. You can't even buy water because water at the club, they charge you for water, the cup, and ice. Next word is sumbong. Mira, te voy a un sumbong. That means I'm going to slap you that you're gonna fly. Don't, don't let that happen to you. Next word is pique. Pique is like you are so pissed that you're saying whatever the situation is, is giving you a pique. Es un medio un pique a mí. That just pissed me off. It got under my skin. I can't believe it. So if somebody goes says pique, somebody pissed them off. All right, guys. So there you have it. A few Dominican slang words that I guarantee you that the next time you go into Dominican hair salon or you go get yourself a chimichurri. And if you don't know what a chimichurri is, then you need to get your whole life together because, honey, oh, growing up, I always used to get chimis and it's pretty much a Dominican burger, but it's not like a burger. It's a chimi. It's different. It's like a burger. It's like a chimi. I don't even really know what it is. I don't even really think it's a burger. It just looks like a burger, but it's a chimi because it's completely different. The taste is different. They put ketchup and mayonnaise together, and it's just slamming with a little bit of, I think it's coleslaw that they put on it with two buns. Listen, no cheese. You don't put cheese on this. this that's, that's gross. Um, <laughs> But there you have it guys, a few Dominican slang words that I guarantee you, the next time you go into Dominican, a predominantly Dominican place, you will know what's going on. You will know what is being spoken about, I guarantee you, because these are just words that we just usually say on a day-to-day -day basis. It's like second nature. So I hope this video was helpful. Comment down below what word did you learn today. Thank you so much guys for showing my video with John so much love. We had so much fun doing that video and we didn't think you guys were going to love it that much. So I can't wait to actually do the reverse with my family where I will be teaching them or asking or seeing how much English they know. I really think this is going to be hilarious but for my family they don't understand English at all. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna give them hard words. Oh, they don't know what's coming. But comment down below, like this video if you wanna see more videos like this. You make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Y lo veo en mi próximo video. Adios.